Here's the best home workout you can do in 10 minutes with no gym equipment. Welcome back to Live Lean TV for Women. I'm your host, Jessica Guthrow, and this is Baby Bump Guthrow. She's about five months along. And then of course, Bruno Guthrow, you know him too. We're all here today to bring you the best home workout with no gym equipment. We're only gonna use simple things you can find at your house already, like a chair and three towels. So one large towel and two small hand towels. And you're also going to need an interval timer. I'll put the link down below so you can pick up one of these. Really handy tool for your home workouts. Now this workout is great. You don't even need sneakers for it. You can be barefoot like I am. It's also very quiet. There's no jumping involved. Um, it's great for all levels. I'm doing it and I'm pregnant, so I know you can do it too. I'll show you some ways you can modify things to either make this easier or harder. We're only gonna go through five exercises and we're gonna do them two rounds. So a total of exactly 10 minutes, I know you have time for this. Let's get started. The first thing we're gonna do is set our interval timer for 40 seconds of work, 20 seconds of rest. This workout is gonna target all areas of your body, including legs, butt, hamstrings, upper body, chest, arms, all of it, even a little abs, but you can still do this if you're pregnant, don't worry, just follow exactly the modifications that I'm doing. For the first move, I'm gonna have you set down your large towel in a rectangle shape like this, and you're gonna put it on the ground. Make sure you have plenty of space behind you, and the two towels go right down behind it. So you're gonna step your feet on those two towels, and then your knees onto the larger towel. Let's go ahead and start our intervals now, and you can follow me. Let's do this. This one is called Towel Slide Frog Squats. All right, timer on, hands on the ground. Three, two, one, let's get it. So you're gonna go back into a plank position. You'll slide forward and then come into a frog squat. Your heels are still up and you're just balancing on the balls of your feet. So right here, frog and then back. So 40 seconds of work, keep going. Get as many as you can without going so fast that you mess up your form. Okay, break time and we're gonna set up for the next move. Our next one is a side lunge using the chair. So you don't need the big towel for this one, you can just Throw that to the side. Take your two small towels, make sure they're folded up in two small rectangles like this. Put them directly under your feet and you want your whole foot on the towel. All right, here it goes. All the way out to the side and then bring it back. Slide that straight leg all the way out. Touch your butt to the chair. Just lightly though, you don't want any of your body weight actually on the chair. Make sure that you're still working your legs and you're just lightly touching that chair so you know you're going low enough. If you're more advanced, you can do this without the chair and go even lower, but the chair is a great guideline so that you know when you've reached the bottom. All right, keep it up, almost there. And done, okay. So we're moving on to the hamstring curls and you can just leave your chair where it is, but I'm gonna turn mine to the side just so you can see the side profile of this exercise. You wanna keep the towels under your feet, but you're gonna sit your butt on the chair and then using your arms, lower down so your shoulder blades are on and then grab the chair behind your head. You wanna make sure your heels are on the towels. Slide out, slide back in and thrust. Mm -hmm. Slide out, in and thrust. Out, in, lift up. You're really gonna feel your glutes on this one. And it really gets those hamstrings. Great for targeting that cellulite area that women get. And it's also really great, especially if you're pregnant, to be strengthening your lower back, this whole area. One more, Whew. Okay, coming up from that, just use your arms and push your butt back up. We're gonna move on to the chest and arm exercise, which is the flies. You can just push the chair out of the way and we're gonna get 
back down onto our knees on the big towel. Ooh, those rests go by fast. Okay, so with your hands on the towels and your knees on the big towel, you're gonna slide out, lower your chest down, and then slide together and come back to all fours position. Lower and lift. Lower and lift. Good, so for more advanced, or for those of you who aren't pregnant, you can do this with your butt down like this, but for pregnancy and for beginners, it's better to keep your butt back. Keep working. And that's it, time is up. These go by really fast, don't they? Okay, so the last one is the overhead squat, and we're gonna roll up the big towel into a roll like this, you can see, and then just keep it on the floor. And you're just gonna take one of the small towels and open it up, grabbing two corners. You'll step onto the big roll and then hold this towel over your head. As you squat down, you try to keep that towel directly over your head. Come back up and squat all the way down. Now, if you have bad knees, you can just stop right here and come back up. That's also a fine modification, but this is actually really great for strengthening the knees. So if you can, I encourage you to come all the way down. All right, done. So we are back to the top. That was five exercises. We're gonna start over and do them all again. So hurry up during this rest period. You gotta get yourself set. Unroll that towel. Get back into that plank position. The first exercise is the frog squat. So slide out, slide in, and lift up. Now I won't talk as much during this round because I'll let you concentrate. Do the work and you can look up at the screen make sure that you're doing it with me at my pace you can even go faster than me because I'm all big and pregnant right now Woo! done with that one okay so we're on to the side lunges grab that chair again it's nice if you can put the chair against a wall or something so it doesn't slide away from you while you're doing this. That's always nice. Okay, get the heels on those towels and go for it. Side lunges. Whew. Feeling good. Now, when you're working out and you're pregnant, if you ever feel dizzy or if you ever feel like it's too much, then just take a break. There's no need to push yourself to the limits when you're pregnant. But if you're not pregnant, go all out. All right, so we're on to the hamstring curls. Using that chair again, just turning it to the side. You're gonna lower your butt down, get into that bridge position. Scoot those shoulder blades down to the very edge. And just take a deep breath here and wait for that buzzer and go. A more advanced version of this would just be to lay on the floor. You can do it like that. If you want more of a challenge, you can also do one leg at a time. Kicks in the ceiling, makes it a little harder. Get creative with it, have some fun. Woo! Your butt should be burning. Bruno, are you getting jealous? You getting jealous? Love you. Okay, so we're on to the uh, chest fly. So bring that towel back. Okay, are you my personal trainer? Supervising me, making sure I work hard. 
All right, ready? Here we go. So this is kind of like a push up, but you're doing more of an open and closed movement, which really helps work the chest even more. <sighs> Feels good. Get that burn. Make sure you keep your core tight. No sagging in the middle. Almost there. All right, we did it. Okay, we have one more exercise. So we gotta roll up this towel. Make that little burrito roll. <laughs> and then we're gonna step on it with a wide stance. Take one of those small towels, open it up, and just grab the two corners. And watch out, I'm coming down. My workout buddy, he always likes to hang out during these workouts. One thing I love about doing home workouts is you can do them with your dog or your baby, and you're not making too much noise for the neighbors. You can do this during nap time. And if you work hard and you take short rest periods, you can really get it done in 10 minutes. Keep those arms stiff, we're almost there. And we are there, woohoo! All right, press end on your interval timer. Yeah! Good job, everybody! Good job. Thanks so much for joining us for this workout. If you liked this one, I know you're gonna love my program, Build a Butt. Bruno loves it, that's how he gets such a nice butt. It's available at buildabuttnow.com and it's a six week program that can be done entirely at home with minimal equipment like this, like something like a chair, some towels, and you can do the entire program quietly in your living room. I hope you enjoyed today's workout. I hope you'll save it for future use and come back and do this one with me again. And I'll see you guys every Thursday with a new episode here on Live Lean TV. You can watch my bump grow. Thank you so much for watching and keep living lean. Three weight training exercises every woman should be doing, even safe during pregnancy.